Okay, so welcome to our 51 uh, meeting and uh, build to less. We're going to talk about uh, Conan, uh, assuming our speaker will attend. <laughs> so uh, four plus years. So Adi is usually uh, giving this presentation. So I've uh, volunteered um, to cover for him since he's uh, have oblig obligations. So uh, I'm gonna uh, show you some things that you already know and also go to, to some new things. So you, most of you who are attending here uh, regularly probably uh, know that we're all, more than four years uh, core CPP user group is running, uh, started by Adi and Michel, which is also here in the front and others that are also in this room uh, quite, quite uh, from the beginning. We ha also have, uh, there's a Slack channel, there's a YouTube channel, and uh, we're really uh, be happy to have you um, enter our communities and, and uh, interact with other community members. Uh, we're really uh, trying to promote a diverse community and uh, of course, uh, welcoming beginners and experts so if someone is a beginner and wants to give a talk here in this meetup, feel uh, free to approach us and we'll be happy to advise and help. And you're always welcome. So as I mentioned, there are uh, multiple channels on which you can approach us. We have a Twitter, YouTube, uh, a webpage, a meetup group that you can uh, subscribe to in order to see our meetups and Facebook, which is not uh, updating very often but still, and of course, a Slack channel. So uh, I'll go straight to the point. Uh, and last month in the previous meeting, I've spoken about uh, stood execution entering C++23. And unfortunately that did not happen. Uh, we had, uh, so, so basically execution was uh, voted in um, uh, pre, uh, vote in a pre-vote, and then uh, there's uh, additional process of voting, and it fell, and it failed to pass the, the additional process. So, unfortunately, sad news uh, that would probably not happen in C plus plus twenty three. But uh, I will point out that this is a, a very high priority for C plus plus twenty six, and I haven't uh, put all the things here uh, for C plus plus twenty six, but we're already having some directions and probably things like networking, um, uh, stood hive, which is a new container and doesn't appear here because it, it just barely, it didn't make it to C++23, but it will be high priority for 26, et cetera. So uh, feel, feel free to ask questions if you like or pitching and I think it's very interesting. So let's start with our survey uh, as, as, as we do. Uh, we have a survey which you can scan and uh, we can learn more about you and other members of this meetup can learn more about, about you. And there's a special uh, treat question in the survey. So today, uh, what I did for the opening, I collected a few links to a cool CPP links and tricks and was actually triggered by Adi's idea. Uh, he sent me a very cool link, so I wanted to show it to you. So I'll leave this on, on the screen for a while. Uh, let's see. I'll also write it in the chat. And then I'll move to presenting the links. And you can also fill uh, in the form, you can also fill your cool links uh, and share them with the user group. So uh, Adi have sent a very cool uh, link, which is, uh, C++ cheat sheet. And let me know if you see, can you see the window? Yes. Cool. So this is a, a very cool graphic way to summarize different things in, in C++, uh, uh, including uh, what's currently in the library. And also there's this really cool tab of term terminology, which I think is awesome. Uh, so if you want to have surprise someone with a really cool uh, chart of what's going on in C++, you feel free to share that with them. I think it's an awesome link. 
And then the, in the spirit of, of this, uh, of this uh, feel free to fill your own cool uh, C++ links and tricks. So another cool cheat sheet, if you, if you wanna have, uh, uh, like if you wonder if some feature have entered the language in 20 or in 17 or some details, so even more details about it, there's this really cool cheat sheet by a person that I can't pronounce his name, unfortunately, but he's <laughs> publishing really good, uh, high quality material. Um, and, and this is a really cool cheat sheet. I haven't downloaded it to show you, but I have it on, locally on my computer and, and it's really nice. It's also have very detailed explanations. Uh, C++ core guidelines. It seemed like some people are not familiar, uh, open the window, are not familiar with the fact that uh, there's uh, core guidelines in the ISO uh, CPP uh, webpage, and it's uh, isocpp.org. Basically, that's how you get here. And these are written by Viana and Herb and are very useful. At least they're basically are targeting beginners, but I think I've uh, entered this link multiple times to find some things that I wasn't sure about or new um, questions that I had and also have a QA, and a which is very interesting. And you can also send this to people that are new to the language and you want them to um, just go over this instead of uh, asking questions uh, directly to you. So this is very useful. Uh, Doxygen, all the things. So uh, LLVM and Clang, uh, if, if you're not familiar with it, they both have a Doxygen pages. And I couldn't find uh, GCCs, though I vaguely recall that I had the link to something, but maybe it wasn't Doxygen. So this is, this is really awesome. Uh, not everyone are using Doxygen, I assume, in the workplace, but in general, Doxygen is very, very useful. And I think this is also a really cool uh, way to explore the projects, uh, the compiler, if you, if you, if you need this and it's, it's fascinating. So um, another trick that not everyone are familiar with, but is extremely useful. Maybe most of the people in this group are familiar with, but not, not all. So even if one person, uh, this is new to him, I think it's, use, it's uh, worthwhile. This is a, a page in CPP reference that shows you all the compiler support uh, for both the language and the uh, library. So uh, if you're not sure if your compiler is implementing some feature, you can go here and see exactly in which version this uh, have entered and there's caveats uh, as well. So uh, very useful if you're using uh, one of the latest versions of, of the compiler. Um, feature test macros. So two words about feature, feature test macros. Uh, basically feature test macros are uh, uh, defines that allow you to know, to, to, to identify whether a feature is implemented by your compiler or not, or, or library. So uh, basically the idea is that you can question, you can query that whether uh, the, the value of this, of this uh, macro and understand whether you get uh, some support, full support, uh, sometimes features have changed during the year. So you can identify that there's uh, an, a change in the specific feature that you're using. And this is very useful. And the link that I've posted is uh, to this uh, summary by uh, basically Barry Rasving, which is the chair of SG10, which is the feature test macro uh, study group. And this is very, very useful both to identify how to, uh, what's, what's the correct way to add a feature test marker to a paper, if, if you're proposing a paper to the standard. And also uh, just to identify what's the terminology for feature test markers in general. Uh, additional links, awesome C++, which is another very cool guideline for uh, the, really summarizes very nicely uh, features and, and, and topics and actually have uh, like, for example, there's a uh, resource by, by, uh, by the 
context. So there's compilers, for example, I think it's very interesting. A single line, but summarizes whatever you need if, if it's some term that you're not familiar with. And additional modern C++ features. And of course, I was surprised to discover that the wiki actually holds some very useful links, including uh, some links to the latest draft. So, so yeah, uh, the, for the specific version, usually the general uh, wiki uh, link is not is not very useful. But that's also nice to know. So let's uh, go to the results of your polls. I hope you've posted some cool links as well, so that I can uh, add them to our to our, uh, to our resources. Okay, can you see my screen? Yep. Thank you. Okay, so uh, yeah, so we have some responses, and this is uh, a lot of you. This is not your first core CPP meetup. Uh, for but uh, it seems like quite a lot of you only attended online, which is very cool because uh, I think that by the fact that we moved online, we can uh, reach more people, and it's it's uh, great to have all of you here. Uh, most of you are located in Israel, but we also have some people from Asia. Asia, so great. Uh, where do you get your CPP news? So I've, uh, I think one of the last uh, previous times that we posted this poll, uh, it only allowed a single answer. Uh, so I think it's definitely a poll that deserves more than a single answer. And it looks like a lot of you are reading blog posts, videos, uh, which I think is a great way to, to get uh, informed. Isocite, which is great. Reddit, of course, Twitter, and a bit of you are also active in Slack. Cool. Uh, questions about COVID and working from home status. So I see that a lot of you are working hybrid and, and love it. And that's, that's great. Some of you also uh, work from home and love it. And seems uh, a bit of you are working from the office and don't like it. I can relate. Personally, I prefer working from home or hybrid. But I'm hoping that post the pandemic, you'd still get the uh, the, the ability to work as, as you will, as you, as you wish. A uh, few features that I asked for reflection, that's, that's great. Okay, so yeah, networking and reflections are both uh, considered for C++26, so you'll be happy to hear. And uh, standard ABI is a very interesting uh, topic. If uh, whoever wrote this, please approach me later because there's, there's quite a lot of things to talk about and I think I think it's useful and uh, yeah, we should definitely, we should definitely go this way. And I see a few cool links here. So let me just open one or two before we'll get to our talk today. I'm interested in what you've sent. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so, so this, is, this is awesome. Uh, CPP Insights is, uh, I think it's by uh, I forgot his name, but yeah. Andreas Ferti. Right, thank you. And it's a really useful, it's a really useful link. Thank you, Pierre. Wow, oh wow, okay. <laughs> Something that I'll have to deep, uh, dig deeper uh, later. Actually, I, I posted this link. It's uh, the yeah. history of uh, Unix development. Uh, which was uploaded to uh, GitHub uh, with the different com commits. So you can see the development as it went. Uh, historically, you can even see the dates are accurate. So 52 years ago, uh, it's not really C++, but I think it's uh, much of the foundation of C++ can be seen even in this uh, code. Thank you. That's, that's actually very, very fascinating. Thank you. Drew. It's really cool to see 53 years ago. I wonder what's the size of this circle. Um, okay, so I wouldn't go to this because I see it's a, a paper, um, but thank you, I'll go over it later. Um, and yeah, seems like uh, all the people that answered are a pro-hybrid model. I tend to agree, it's really awesome. <laughs> so thank you everyone for answering your polls. 
And this is the agenda for today. So we already did the welcome notes and now we're gonna see a talk by Dima about a tokenized uh, build environment. And Dima, you're here, great. So let yeah. me just... Um... 